Hi there. Hello. Hi. Good to see ya. Wrong way, Dust. Oh. You're probably wondering what we're doing. We're in the middle of our smell challenge. He's right. Hmm? Uh, Dusty told me he was the best smeller in the whole world, so I'm putting his nose to the test. Smelling is my strongest sense. Comes with being a dog. Do you know what the five senses are? You have seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, and smelling. My favorite. The challenge is that Dusty has to spot the difference between a pleasant or a nice smell with an unpleasant or a not nice smell. Using my super nose, 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 nose. Dusty, Dusty, we love your nose. <laughs> okay, Dust, here we go. Hmm, it has a delicate aroma, like I'm walking in a meadow. Unpleasant. Huh? Oh, okay. Let me try this. Hmm, this has a sour stench. Vile. <laughs> Revolting, even. Pleasant! What? Okay. Let me try this. Oh, wow. Wowie wow wow. This smell, this is the most pleasant smell in the whole wide world. Aw, oh, Dust, do you mean that? Ain't he sweet, folks? Ain't he sweet? <laughs> I smell a catchphrase. today? My name is Dot, like the polka dot, and this is my dog, Dusty. Like the dust. We are reading buddies. I help Dusty learn how to read, mm -hmm. and he helps me... Oh, <laughs> what do you help me with? Well, what do I help you with? What do I help you with? <laughs> uh, well, um, you know, I, I take you on walks. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep your feet warm at night. And, oh, 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 I let you know when there's someone at the door. Well, that's very true. You do do all of those things. I guess we are a pretty good pair. <laughs> like the fruit. That's one kind of pair. But I mean the kind that's when two things come together. You know, like... Bow Wow or Kaboom. Shazam. Ooh, Ooh, I heard two sounds there. I did too. Remember what I called those sounds the other day? Um, I do, I do. They are called vegetables. No, no, <laughs> they're called syllables. Right, that's what I said. They are called syllables. Hey, how about we play a round of I hear with my little ear? That way we can try and count all of the syllables. Mm -hmm. I hear with my little ear. Okay, the word is pizza. Mm. How many different word parts do you hear in pizza? Okay, let me try this. Pizza. Pizza. That sounds like two to me. Yes, that's right. Two different sounds. Okay, try the word mouse. Ooh, okay. Mouse. Mouse. That's just one. That's right. That's only one. Try the word baseball. Okay. Baseball. Base. Ball. Baseball. That's two. Hey, excellent work, everybody. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Woohoo! We knocked it out of the park. Home run, hole in one, Cracker Jacks, basketball, um, sports and stuff. I ran out of sports references. I don't have any to contribute, so. <laughs> dot to dot with Alphabot. Hey, Alphabot, what you got there? Oh, our street. A.B., you drew our street. Oh, isn't that lovely? Well, you're almost there. Mm -hmm. All she needs is the fire hydrant. And the roof. Oh, boy, getting a contractor to put a roof on all those houses is going to be expensive. I've got a roof guy. I'll give him a call. <laughs> no, don't worry, A.B. All you need are a few diagonal lines. Um, what's a diagonal? Oh, 
It's a line, uh -huh. but it isn't a straight line like our horizontal or our vertical lines. It's tilted. Hmm. Like, like if you put a ball on top, it would just roll right off. <laughs> that reminds me of that time we put up that shell. <laughs> Don't remind me. Okay, watch me. Here. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. That was handy. Yeah, yeah but I'm a girl's best friend. <laughs> so you start at the top and you go down to the bottom. See? Mm -hmm. That's a diagonal. Yeah. Now we start at the top and we go down, down to, the, to bottom. the bottom. Diagonal. That <laughs> looks great, Dot. Hey, let's finish the other house. Okay, two diagonal lines. Here we go. Top to bottom. Yeah. Top. To the bottom. bottom. Yeah, we did it. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, Dust, let's get back to our lesson. Oh, sure, can't wait. But before we do that, wouldn't it be fun to come up with a quick story about our neighborhood? Super speedy, say 30 seconds, tops. Oh, all right. Woohoo! <laughs> Once upon a, a time. time. Picture it, summer. The heat was brutal. Oh, but uh, the hot dogs were not. That was a good year. Yummy. <laughs> it was the neighborhood block party, and everyone was there, even Grumpy Joe. When all of a sudden, um, a fire truck came speeding down the street. Uh, was a cat stuck in a tree. Did a little old lady need help crossing the street? No, uh, no emergency here. The firefighters were just here to party. It was incredible. They had a Dalmatian who became a DJ. It was the greatest neighborhood block party ever. The, the end. end. It's rhyme time. You guessed it, it's rhyme time. Now remember, a rhyme is when two words sound the same at the end. I'm ready, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Put me in coach, let's go, round one. Okay, Dust, I really like this energy. Hey, reading buddies, you can be on Dusty's team. Now I'm going to say three words. Two of them rhyme, one of them doesn't. Are you ready? I'm ready. Dish, fish, cake. Dish, fish, Cake. <laughs> I don't think cake rhymes. No, cake doesn't rhyme. Excellent. Okay, map, tap, bit. Which word doesn't rhyme? Ooh, okay. Map and tap both end with the app sound, and bit ends with the it sound. That's right. So which word doesn't rhyme? Map, tap, bit. <gasps> Bit doesn't rhyme. High five. And now, a poem. What? Oh, no. OK, I got to go. Hey, hey, wait. Don't leave me hanging on the high five. Yes. <laughs> OK, I got to go. What's mine is yours, I said to Sam, who lives across the street. He borrowed sugar, eggs, and jam. My new shoes are on his feet. I said, Sam, you borrow too much. To which he yawned and said, No such thing as too much sharing. Then he walked off with my bed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, cool cats. What do you see? I see a donut, dice, daisy, dinosaur. Let's say them out loud together. Donut, donut dice, dice, daisy, daisy dinosaur. dinosaur. Now I'm going to take one away. Look, think, remember. What's missing? The dinosaur! Roar! Let's play again, please, pretty please. Okay, let's say them all one more time. Remember, it can help our memory if we say them out loud. Donut, Donut dice, dice, daisy, daisy dinosaur. dinosaur. Okay, look, think, remember. What's missing? Oh, why can't I remember? I do not know. I just do not know. Do not. Hey, that's funny. Do not kind of sounds like donut. <gasps> I love donuts. Oh, what did you say? Oh, yeah, totally. Donut. The donut is missing. Way to stay on track there, Dust. I got there in the end. Hey, let's go get some donuts. Ready, Dust? Mm-hmm. Say tadpole. Tadpole. Say it again, but don't say tad. Mm, pull. Good dog. Mm-hmm. Dot's teaching me some new tricks. Play with us. You'll catch on. We're taking apart some words. Mm-hmm. Say 
say softball. Softball. Say it again, but don't say soft. Hmm. Ball. Nice. Mm -hmm. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> say leapfrog. Leapfrog. Say it again, but don't say leap. Hmm. Frog. Good dog. Good human. Mm, good treat. D. Dog. D. D. Dog. D. D. Dog. <laughs> oh no, Alphabot's frozen again. <gasps> no, Dust. She's just making the d sound. It must be time to learn our new sound. Oh, that explains it. Hey, I want to try. How do we do it, Dot? All right. Well, remember when we made the t sound? Mm -hmm. We tapped our tongue? Yeah. We do the same thing to make the sound AB is making the d sound. D. Like, um, the word dog? Exactly. Good ear. <laughs> hmm. Let's explore the d sound. Put your tongue behind your teeth and say d, like d dog. D, d. <laughs> there may even be like a pop of air that oh, comes out. See. D, d, d. Yeah, I feel it. Oh, hey, d, d. You know what else I feel? <laughs> what does? My vocal cords. That's right. <laughs> they vibrate when you make the d sound. Mm hmm It does, does. D, 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 does. <laughs> Tickle. <laughs> nice, Dusty. Hey, do you know any words with a d sound? <gasps> no, 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 I can't think of any more. Oh, no, I bet you can. I'll give you a hint. He's cute mm. and lovable. Mm, cute and lovable, huh? No, no, I can't think of anything. And he's super smart. <gasps> Still got nothing. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's you, Dust. Dusty starts with D. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hey, wait. I've got one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come here. Mm-hmm. How about you, Dot? Your name starts with D, too. <laughs> Do you want to build the shape that makes the D sound? Doy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first things first. We need our invisible paintbrushes. Mm. Oh, do you have yours? Oh, let me see. Oh, wow, very professional. Well, now that we all have our paintbrushes, <laughs> let's begin. Let's start by drawing a circle. Ah, yes, the classic circle. Got it. Okay, now what? Then we add a vertical line. Ooh, vertical line, top to bottom. Hey, it kind of looks like a stick and a ball. <laughs> it does a little. <laughs> well, good job. The <gasps> symbol is called the letter D. D, dog, D. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, oh. A.B. We can play one of our favorite games. Where is it? <laughs> Alphabot will hide the D sound and you will have to find it. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> ah, <laughs> let's play. Where is it? We're going to pretend these blocks are words. Let's pretend the pink block is our first word and the blue block is our second word. The D sound is hidden in one of these words and your job is to find it. Remember, Dust, we're looking for the D sound. D, D, D. Bake, door. Hmm. Bake, bake door. door. Is the D sound in bake or in door? Bake, door. Where do you hear the D sound? Door. I hear it in door, too. Door. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Let's try rainbow dirt. Rainbow, rainbow dirt. dirt. Where do you hear the d sound, Dusty? Rainbow dirt. D, d, dirt. I hear it in the second square. Dirt. Let's see. Excellent yes. work. Okay, the last one is a little tricky. We're going to hide the d sound into one word, and the word is sandbox. Is the d sound in sand yeah. or in box? Sand box. On this hand, I have sand over here, and I got box over here. Uh, what do you think? Sand box. Where do you hear the d sound? Yeah, I hear it in sand, too. You're smart. Hey, we hear it in sand. Ding, ding, ding. 
Yes. You did excellent work. <laughs> oh, I love to play in sandboxes. I know you do. You are pretty skilled at building things. Hey, do you want to build some bigger words? <gasps> sure. Great. Let's take these two squares. If you have magnets at home, you can use those and follow along. I'm going to let these squares represent certain words. Ooh. Let's try rainbow. Keep going. This square is rain and this square is bow. Put them together. Rainbow. rainbow. Now what happens if I take bow away? What do we have left? Rain. Yes, that's <laughs> it. Now what if we put this square here and call it storm? Mm, well, it looks more like a Harriet to me, but storm is fine too. Okay, let's stick with storm. Okay. Now we have rain and storm. storm. What happens when we put them together? Uh, rain, storm. Rainstorm! Yes, you're getting it. You're getting the hang of it, Dusty. Good boy. Okay, let's give our reading buddies one. Okay. Let's move storm over, and I'm going to add this square and call it cloud. Cloud, okay. So we have cloud and, oh, I forgot the uh, first one. Let me ask my friends. Hey, do you remember? What was that first square? Oh, storm, you're totally right. Okay, what do we do next? Let's say them one by one. Okay. Storm, storm cloud. cloud. Now we put them together and it's... Storm cloud. Excellent <laughs> shaming, Dusty. You're a machine. Whoa, that's my new special skill. I guess so. Along with being so sweet and cuddling mm. at night and making messes. The shade. Sorry, Dusty, but it's true. I mean. Remember that time you made a ball pit in your dog bed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I would never do that again. <laughs> I definitely did that again. Can you please help me clean up? It will be quicker with more people. <gasps> Great, okay, let's race there. Ready, set, go. <laughs> You beat me again! Woo! Oh boy, this place is dank, and not in a hip way. I mean, it's dirty and damp. Uh, today, I'm only gonna keep the stuff that has the d sound in it. You know, that's what's bringing me joy. Let's start! Wah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of these. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, dragon. Does dragon have the d sound? <laughs> yeah, right in the beginning. The er sound makes it sound a little different, but there's that the uh, Hi, dragon. Welcome to your new home. Okay, what else we have? Ooh, toothbrush. Does toothbrush have the d sound? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I don't use that toothbrush anyway. Dive, dive! Whoa! Ooh, drum. Does drum have the d sound? <laughs> yeah, right in the beginning. Can't wait to play those later. All right, almost there. Ooh, cheese. Does cheese have the d sound? Mm-mm, no d in cheese. Can't believe I'm saying this. Bye, cheese. Okay. <gasps> dolphin. Does dolphin have the d sound? <laughs> yeah, right in the beginning. Thanks for helping me clean up this mess. I have no idea how that dolphin got in there. Oh well, let's see what's happening in the reading room. <laughs> going to the park with my friend Chip. Gonna, hey, what's going on, Dot? Hey, Dust. You know that play date we were supposed to have with Lori and our dog Chip? Mm hmm. Well, they had to cancel. Aw, oh, man. But. I wanted to see Chip so bad. We were gonna dig up bones together. I know, Dusty, it's disappointing. <sighs> we'll have to come up with a plan B. Plan B? What's a plan B? Well, it's, it's when things don't go your way, so you have to come up with a backup plan. You know, something you can do instead. But I wanted to see my friend. I know. <sighs> Deep breaths, Dusty. That's always a good place to start when things go wrong. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> I'm bummed. That's understandable. When these things happen, you, you gotta try and stay flexible, okay? Flexible? 
You mean stretching? How would touching my toes help at a time like this? No, 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 no. I mean, you have to be open to a new plan, a, a new idea. Like what? What could be better than digging bones? What about an indoor obstacle course? The first one to the doghouse wins. Ooh, I do like a race, and a castle would be pretty sweet. But no, I don't know. Okay, what about a peanut butter spoon challenge? The first person to eat all of the peanut butter off the spoon wins. Peanut butter? Mmm, I do love PB. And a spoon challenge. A competition would be fun. But no, I don't know. Oh, come on, remember Dusty. Deep breaths and flexibility. Sigh. <sighs> Okay, what about this? An indoor obstacle course to the peanut butter spoon challenge castle before an all night slumber party with me and AB. <laughs> a slumber party? Now that is a great plan B. Okay, I'm in. Now the pillows are lava and the doghouse has a moat around it. Ooh, that's and good. And we'll use blankets for the water. Okay, blankets. And AB will be the peanut butter dragon that guards the castle. Yes. Oh, you need a spoon to get in. Oh, spoon. Don't even think about showing up without a spoon, Dad. Okay. I won't let you in. You All need right. a spoon or a spork. Squat with Dot. Get ready to squat with Dot. Let's go. Are you ready to dance with us? Yeah, born ready. See? Whoa, Dad, you're dancing daringly. <gasps> What's that supposed to mean? No, it's a good thing. It means you're dancing boldly and bravely. Oh, then yeah, I'm dancing daringly. <laughs> Let's put this party into drive. <laughs> I call this one the disco. Hmm. 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 Am I doing it? Oh, you totally are. Okay. Let's add in some dynamics. What are those? Well, dynamics are how loud or soft something is. And we can make our bodies be dynamic. Do you want to try? Mm-hmm. Let's make them soft. Mm-hmm. Soft. On the count of eight, let's make them loud. Five, six, seven, eight. Playing a big piano. Those feel really different, don't they? Yeah. Hey, what about this move? I call it the dusty. You brush off your sleeves like you're covered in dust. The dusty. The dusty. <laughs> okay, what about this? I call it the dot. Whoa, okay, let me try it. <laughs> oh, the lovely. What's your favorite move? Let's finish with that. Five, six, seven, eight. The dusty. The dusty. And done. Good workout, Dot. Dignified, really. Hiya, hiya. Hey, <laughs> I'm popping bubbles in the bath. It's so fun. Let's do it together. Come here, bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Dog house. Yeah. Dog house. Day Z. Daisy. <laughs> On guard, swordfish! Yeah! Yeah! Whoo! Yeah! Whoa! Perry! Thrust! <laughs> we got him! Dan Sir. Dancer. <laughs> hey Dad, I'm all done. I'm just gonna unplug the drain. <clears throat> Whoa! Dusty, you got another letter from your pal Otto. Oh, will you read it to me, Dot? I still only know a few letters. Of course. Happy to help. Dear Dusty, Ding dong, it's me, Otto. The other day, my dainty doll-faced Debbie and I were on a date, dancing in a dale of dandelions. I dozed off and dreamed I was daring a dragon to drink Decaf. Dun, dun, dun. Talk about dramatic. Otto. 
One day, I'm going to write a whole letter to Otto by myself. I have no doubt. What was your favorite part of Otto's letter? Huh, hmm. I think it was daring a dragon to drink decaf. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to say. Let's say Dusty's favorite line together. Daring, daring a, a dragon, dragon to drink decaf. <laughs> again, again. Oh, unfortunately, that's all the time we have with our friends today. Aww. But I'm really proud of all the work that you did. You too. Work? What do you mean work? Learning with you has been so much fun. Little by little. Letter by letter. Reading buddies, you did great work today. Reading buddies, I really, really, really wish you could stay. So we'll see you soon from this same spot with Dusty and Dot and an Alpha Bot with your reading buddies. You'll never.